What's going on guys? Welcome to Texas Project Cars. The sun is in my eyes right now. Hang on. There we go. There it is. No. So welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be test driving, well, I guess driving the new 2018 Mustang owned by my man here, Ivan. Go ahead and tell him what's up. What's up? What's up guys? made you decide on the s550 i would look up on youtube like all this like all this stuff about mustangs and i would do a lot of research so i'm like okay you know these these cars like they seem amazing like with the new technology you know they're fast as hell yeah the affordable horsepower and that was really like i was in like high school and i was like i'm gonna have one of these one day what really got me into it honestly besides just the speed it's just like i, I don't know what it is about the car but like the feeling that it like gives me just that like, American muscle feeling. Yeah. Like like this like and even for me driving it, I, I really feel like, you know, going from my Fox body to something like this, um, even though it's an automatic, which is perfectly fine in this car because like it's luxurious. You got the 10 speed uh, automatic in here. So there's nothing wrong with it. This Mustang is completely different than like from where my Mustang is or even Mustangs before that. Um, this is just like on point like Ford knocked this one out of the park what are some pros and cons that you notice just driving the vehicle I mean let's start off with pros I'm sure they want so, to hear some of the good so things pros especially if you're if you want to compare it to like other muscle cars or pony cars yeah like the Camaro the Challenger Charger whatever this has really good visibility right out the bat like the windshield you yeah. can see a lot more especially if you put the seat up which I do because I like yeah. seeing the hood um, a lot of people think I'm weird for that, but yeah. the blind blind spots are really not that intrusive. Like honestly, all you have to do yeah. is like look at the blind spot mirror and then look look back if you if you really have to, and yeah. it's not a problem. Another pro is uh, handling. Oh, it handles yeah. really well. Like people always call it the crowd killer or whatever. You know, it's funny and whatnot, but it's bound to happen when a car is affordable and a lot of people can get right. their hands on it. So that's two pros. What, what's like something else that you're just like, wow, thank God I got the 2018 Mustang compared to like a 2014. Like someone like me would want to get until they drove something like this, you know? Honestly, I wouldn't even be able to just name one thing because there's a lot of reasons. Yeah. Like uh, the power, uh, has okay. more power and also the way it transfers the power to the wheels because it has one it has a 460 to the crank but it still transfers over 415 to the wheel yeah uh, and the fact that the interior is like it's a complete completely different ball game because yeah. you look at the interior of the 2014 2013 2012 and it's just like huh, huh, huh. like yeah. I'm just not a fan of it like like yeah, they're like great. Like from the outside, performance-wise, they they were great. But when you compare it to something like this, this is so much more premium. Yeah. The handling you have. Well, you also have different steering uh, modes. Like you steering can put it. Fuel. Yeah. So you yeah. can put it on normal. You can put it on sport, and you can put it on comfort. And it's on it. And honestly, it makes a difference. Like you'll be able to notice it. Also, the styling. Like it's it's still like people, especially for the 18s. A lot of people didn't like the new refresh for the uh, hood scoop. But it honestly grew on me. But it it. it it's like it's such a good combination of hey this is a, a pony car but it still is, it has that muscle dna like yes. it still looks it still looks like a muscle car but it, it, it's also steering towards like the more sport more track oriented look to be honest when i first saw the refresh for the 2018 i was like what is this garbage what is that yeah. when i saw I think, a couple in person yeah. i was like actually that looks that, look, that goes hard i was like uh, i think that good. was like a lot of people's reaction which now mm -hmm. since you know it's 2019 you know they already have two years of the mustang and then with the new gt500 coming out i think honestly there there's like no better body um I, i'm still a big fan of the s197s that came out because they're just beautiful cars and now they're going pretty pretty cheap in price um but at the same time it's like why would you skip out on this you know like this is beautiful yeah uh, other than obviously you know price obviously the s197 is going to be cheaper but there's a reason for it and the way it downshifts too like once you hit like 100 or 120 right yeah and then you like you start slowing down the downshifts are so aggressive like you feel it yeah. and it's so loud it goes vroom, 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 vroom. 
How's it go? Hey, 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 I make sound effects. It's all good. I, hey, I free sound I effects right here. So, uh, spe speaking of, <laughs> speaking of like going fast and stuff, you know, it's American muscle car. What is the fuel economy? Since this is your daily driver, what can like new car buyers expect with the baseline Mustang? So it depends on how you drive, right? If you drive cons uh, conservatively, it's yeah. honestly not bad. Like, obviously it's not good compared to like a Civic. If you go from a car that's, you know, 36 in the highway like mine was, yeah, it, you know, 25 is not gonna seem that good. But yeah. to be honest, for the kind of car that it is and the, the power that you're getting and the performance, that's really, really good. What are some cons for this car that you can think of uh, for the viewers just to kind of like I guess what they can look for whenever they're looking to pick one of these right Mustangs so up. so the first con is actually gonna be a, con a contradiction to what we were just talking about right yeah. it, it, it is good on gas when you drive it conserv conservatively uh, you're not doing anything crazy but that's the thing though every time you do fill up it's like and I recommend nothing lower than uh, 93 octane pump gas on this thing. Yeah. I wouldn't run anything lower than that. Like it's it's just good for the engine in the long run. That's gonna run you around depending on how much gas it is. It's gonna be between 37 to like 43 dollars. Wow. Like every time you like fill up and that is honestly like I think that's the biggest con yeah. in my opinion. But I guess visibility for some people they might not like it because for this kind of car I'm not gonna lie the side mirrors are kind of small yeah they're 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 small but i think they're manageable yeah like, i mean w w i'm used to them now so they're not small to me anymore but when i get on other people's car for example hernandez's brz yeah his mirrors look huge <laughs> like to <laughs> me like they, yeah. they're, they're huge to me because i'm not used to that when i get in uh, davis's wrx i'm like these mirrors are freaking big yeah i just wanted to say uh like a pro for this thing is a freaking exhaust this thing oh, is yeah. so loud. I'll play a clip for you right now. Amazing uh, what these stock exhausts that Ford is putting out can do. And I mean, it's not, you know, the active exhaust or anything. This, this is legitimately the lowest of the low. And it is freaking amazing. I, I'm not gonna lie to you where, when I say I can drive from Central Texas all the way up to Dallas. And that's like a two, two, three hour drive, and I'd have no issues driving it. It's honestly hard to find a con when you're a Mustang fan and you really love the car because at that point you have to nitpick. Like, I have to nitpick. For example, I don't care about the trunk space, but that, that could be a, a, a con right there. The trunk yeah. space is not good. And also because the headlight, the, the tail lights are intrusive yeah. because they don't lift with the actual trunk. The tail lights are still they, there. They there. So it's just kind of like a weird T looking thing. Yeah. And then, you know, if you have to put a box, you have to literally go from top and then drop <laughs> it. You can't just slide it in there. Yeah. Because the taillights are in the way. I've always had this argument, like, with myself, you know? Like, is it better to have a car payment and have a newer car or an old car and no car payment? Honestly, guys, like, what, what I'm in that with is this car is worth it. Like, th this is ridiculous. I have never been in such such a nice Mustang for being a base model Mustang and I know I keep saying base model but like it does not feel like that yeah like I feel like you got a good deal this car just like I said from before um, it, it just drives so nice like I've had no issues I know I've been going back and forth but oh my gosh like this thing is amazing and I, I really appreciate you letting me come out drive this thing guys I'm telling you you definitely need one of these. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys kind of learned a little bit more about the base model 2018 Mustang. I don't think you need all the extra stuff because you're going by performance parts anyway. See you guys next time. Peace.